1988. Sure. The 4th of June, mm. 1988. Wow. I was still young. My hair was still black. <laughs> when I came here, I was wearing my afro. <laughs> but things have changed. The hair are white now. <laughs> And the, the Lord told me, you will find some people that can just hold it. And uh, just go to halfway house and you will find people waiting for you to start an assembly. Yes. And this assembly was started through the grace of the Lord. You come to a place you know no one and the Lord said, you will find people. And the day when I find, when I was asking people, is here an AFM church? They said, no, no, we only know one lady which is longing for a church of the AFM year. And she's from Germiston. And that time, I looked for her, she's, they said, man, she's around here, she's wearing a gray dress. <laughs> And I looked around, and we find her, mm. and they were fine. But the one which was really the encouraging one to find several. Mm. And he said, Mommy, let's go to the church there tomorrow. They're going to give out soup. Mm. And that's how the church started with soup. And we also invited to come and join up with the soup. And I want to say, uh, really, that day was a great day. And the, the lady which told me about her mother, she's not dead also, and, and, and uh, Doyle. She said, man, the lady is here, and she always speaks about her church. She's going to the NG, but she wants her church. And the Lord has provided. You see this body standing here, not because of me, but because of, uh, of people like a Margaret. Amen. We've got people in the church here that our Margaret was working with, and she encouraged them to come to church. Yeah. And one of the people, one of the persons is a Dory. Dory Noah. Where's the Dory Noah? Yeah. Can you just stand on your feet, please? It's the Dory Noah was one of the people that said, uh, and Margaret just said, go to her house and speak to her yeah. because she wants to see the pastor of the church. Mm. From there, the Dorian also became a member of the church. Mm. The, sec the second group of people which came to this church was the Jacobs mm. at Babel. Mm. It was the second group which came to the church. And from there, the others started to come. And uh, I remember the, the youth. Yeah. yeah. Vanessa's mother uh, also can remember. But the youth started with the Jacob's family. Yeah. Yeah. But God's ways is not our ways. And my prayer is that the Lord will bless our mother. That's the ticket that we are holding. It's not for nothing. Yeah. That's the good is to say, and Margaret, we care for you. Uh, like uh, yes, the story was telling me, this was supposed to be done in February. But February, I was so sick, and I was in hospital. All of a sudden, the devil was trying me all these tricks. But the Lord provided, and I'm still alive. And that's why we want to anoint uh, this day Amen. as the eldest member of this assembly. Amen. In the name of the Father, yes. in the name of the Son, yes. in the name of the Holy Spirit, we pray that the Lord will lead and guide us. We pray that in our ages, that the Lord will still be with us. That other people take the example to say, man, we want to serve the Lord like an auntie. She is now the big mother of the church. And we will remember.
He wants to make a video of this so that one day when I'm not anymore there, when she's not anymore there, you can show the video and say, that was the day when we anointed them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless our dear Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I thought God for guiding me through my life. Pastor knows I went through lots of challenges and difficulties. No, a month was a month before uh, previous month. I had a stroke in my sleep. But God raised me up. I could have passed on. But God has been good to me. I want to thank everybody. I want to tell the congregation, hold on. Don't ever forget me, even if I pass on. I want to say thank you to Pastor McNally and Pastor Elfie. And I want to say thank you to Pastor McNally and I want to tell you I love you very much. Thank you very much. Amen. You know, put 24. Auntie Margaret, we also appreciate you. I want to thank you. En dank je dat je een voorbeeld voor ons al die jaren was. Dank je Dank je dat Marke staat wat gebeurt. Je yeah. was altijd op je post. En yeah. we just want to say we love you as a congregation. Amen. And we just pray the best upon your life. I just want to read the scripture to you in, in, in Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. The Lord will bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And be confidence upon you and give you peace. Amen. That's what they can say. The Lord will be gracious to you. Amen. And the Lord will protect you and cover you. Amen. We will always appreciate you. Yes. And thank you. As a mother, you always speak to us. If something is wrong, yeah. you will lift up your voice and say it's wrong. And we want to say thank you for that. Because we need mothers and fathers in the church. That can see things. You know, the word of God says gray hair and age comes with wisdom. Yes. What we forgot about, I mean, what you forgot about, we still have to learn. Mm. Yeah. And we just want to say thank you this morning. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, I just want to thank God for His grace and His mercy upon you. You know, um, when Opa Fisher died, he would have been 95 yesterday. Um, I said, Lord, I need a mother to adopt now again, another old person to adopt. Because I used to go fetch Opa Fisher for church and drop him off. And just like that, he dropped into my spirit. And I thank God that I can have a granny. My biological granny passed away a long ago. But I thank you for the role that you play in my family's life. And I'm honored to pick you up, collect you for church every Sunday. It's not a burden. That's what I tell you every Sunday. <laughs> and when I'm not here, then I make a plan. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful that I can do it. My mother always used to see, say, give me the flowers while I'm alive. Yeah. Because I will not be able to see it when I'm passed away. 
So may God richly bless you, abundance in overflow, in anything that your heart still desires. May He keep you, my love you so much. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, now, me and Aunt Margaret, we have a long history. <laughs> we are actually family now. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Except for the church, we are all family. Also, so no uncontrolled family now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now, everyone's when Aunt Margaret say, this is the first person that I've learned to meet in this church. And she has never showed me otherwise that she cared for me and I care for her so much. I love this woman. Okay. Now, you know, when I met Aunt Margaret was, we were working together. We were working together for a long time. Mm. And um, I had this dream. And at that moment, I didn't understand dreams. So I was telling everybody that wanted to listen about this dream. But every time I t talk about this dream, I was crying so much because I do didn't understand what's happening. Then one lady said to me, there's a lady there if on this floor at the back and Margaret, go talk to her, tell her about the dream. Mm. So I went to her Margaret, that's where the friendship started. Mm. So I went to her and she said, wait. This is a terrible dream, but you know what? I will tell our pastor. And on Thursday, maybe he will come. But I'll tell him as soon as I can. I'll call him. And she just, she did just that. And the day the pastor came, and Sister Charlotte, I received Christ. Mm. That's how long we know each other. Wow. And, and, and today, I always tell her, I'm Margaret. What you see in me happening in the, the spiritual realm and what you see me doing in the church, how I preach or whatever I done, you have a deposit in it. Oh, yeah. Because it's because of you. Amen. You sent me to the right people. Amen. And to, when I met the right people, that's where I met Christ. And today, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to say, I've never met someone like you. And I pray that God's blessings be upon you and that he will still spare you for us. And I'm grateful that you have seen this day. Because, you know, we we ought to ask so by him, I'll seek. We were sick for so many times and we thought we we're gonna die. Yeah. But when God has a purpose, yeah. there you will not die. Yes. That it means your purpose, you are not done on this earth. Yeah. She said she had a stroke in her sleep, but God still spared her because he wanted her to see this thing. Yeah. There are many things I don't know, but God knows what he wants her to see before she leaves this earth. Okay. Now I want to say, Sister Margaret, at, at where we were working together, people were talking about that Margaret. They said, they said that they've never seen someone that is so thankful. She said thank you for everything. And I said one day if there is someone that, that knows how to be grateful and to be thankful unto God, this is, it, it is this woman. She was even say, you know, we were young that time and stupid and foolish and we laughed because she even said to the taxi driver when we get off, thank you so much. <laughs> but yes, I want to say I know her for a long time. And in the time that I know her, I've seen a mother, a friend, 
someone that you can confide in mm. she is that and you will never hear she talked about you of what you came to say about her this is a woman of God and may God bless her Glory. in Jesus name Amen I thank God for my mother that's sitting in front of me. She became she became my mother and my friend in Rabi Ridge. When my mother passed on, she became a mom to me. We were working together at New World. That's also where our friendship started. Uh, well done on your achievement, Mama. May God bless you. They talk about a praying warrior. Yeah. Not an imitation or a spaza, or a what's a what. Yeah. We lived in, in Germiston together. We were neighbors. Yeah. OK. There was another lady in us, and Maria, in yeah. between us. But and Margaret knew my life specifically. And my stepfather, hey, I was the devil man. <laughs> that guy used to be in my buyer. And Teresa would put Ailey on, uh, uh, on her back, and uh, Susan would put me. Mm, and he would chase them around the block. <laughs> and sometimes they would go on to her stoop, and she won't even know they did. Okay. And one day, I went to her and I cried, and she said to me, my can up na an my to. Go to Anmarai. She's no more than Anmarai. She also loved in yeah. Kokotuya. Yeah. We are applying for houses in Rabi Ridge. Yeah. You have children. You will get. If there are still houses, Anmarai will help you. Yeah. And I said, Ma, are you serious? And she said, My can't can beer. I told your mother, but your mother doesn't want to know anything about Rabi Ridge. Go, because of this lady. When I got there, there were no more houses. She said it's full. But somebody said they are not interested anymore. This is the God that we serve. Yes. Yeah. And she said to me, come back tomorrow. I went back to Aunt Margaret. I said I went there. She said there's no more houses. But I must come back tomorrow. And I went back the following day, and she said, yes, uh, somebody canceled. Mm. So you are in luck, you will get this. But I knew somewhere mm. yeah. she said something to Anmarai. Yeah. Because Anmarai didn't know me. Yeah. I wasn't a popular person in Germiston. So she went and she, obviously she said something she to Anmarai. She paved the Anmarai. way for you. She opened that road for me. And that is how my too, because of that word that she just said, my child, go to Anmarai. Mm. I didn't know, I didn't have the wisdom, but that is what she said to me. And that is how I got that house, because of her leadership, her wisdom that guided me that 96 Kokotu is a Jacob's family. And today I want to say thank you. Thank you. May you always be granted that word. Give you that wisdom to your grandchildren that you've given to me. May you always be blessed. Thank you. Yeah. 